Praise the Lord. How are you today? Thank you for joining us this morning. Let us pray. Our Father, we want to thank you for this morning prayer. As we go into your word, then we pray. Father, open our eyes. Give us understanding of your word. And as we apply them, the blessing attached to your promises, let it be our portion. This morning, speak to us, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Once again, I want to welcome you to our morning prayer. I know some of you would have been saying for long, Pastor, yes, that is true, but I welcome you back again. This time, by the grace of God, we want to consider at the book of Ephesians. That is, the whole book of Ephesians, as the Lord will lead us, we are going to take them step by step. I read now from our text this morning. If you have your Bible there, please open your Bible to the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Are you there now? God bless you. I take verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ. What we want to consider this morning is the introduction of you know to the book of Ephesians. Then we will take those words we've heard to prayer to apply them into our life. It's also a reminder, you remember, I believe you have not forgotten those of you who are students of the Bible. The Bible consists of 66 books. We have 39 of the Old Testament and 27 of the New Testament. And this book of Ephesians happens to be one of the epistles in the New Testament written by Apostle Paul. And um, this Bible or this um, epistle called the book of Ephesians uh, there are a lot of blessings attached inside and except God open our eyes, we may not see them. And uh, let me quickly tell you this. Remember that the scripture says in the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 4, please open your Bible again. Romans 15 4 says, for whatsoever thing we are written, a fourth time we are written for our learning. Don't forget that. All these 66 books, you see how God loves us so much to share his mind with us. He has given us 66 books. Everything we need on earth is inside that 66 book. That is the love of God. Everything is attached. Everything is there. All the blessing, all the healing, all the deliverance, all the breakthrough. Mention the blessings. They are all there. They are there. They are for our learning. And 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 also says this. It's Apostle Paul also that wrote this. He said this. He said, look, all scripture, that is the 66 books, Though we are considering only one now, this 66 book is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, that is for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Why? Look at verse 17, that the man of God, that is you and myself, may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That is it. That is why God has sent these scriptures to us, his word to us, this 66 book. And we want to just focus on only one of the books now and hear what Peter told us about the scriptures. Now, I go to First Peter chapter 1. I take verse 20 and 21. This apostle also said this. Listen, verse 20 now. Know this force. You must have understanding of the Bible you are carrying. It's not just ordinary book. These 66 books, they are special book from God. Listen, 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 listen very well. He said, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures, that is, 
these 66 books, the Word of God, is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man, but holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Ghost. You see, it's not that somebody or group of people just come together and sit down and edit it. And No, it was written, as we have read earlier, by the inspiration of God. As God spoke to this prophet, they were written down. So what we want to share is the mind of God. You see, the apostles say, the will of God. You see, it is by the will of God. It is the mind of God. It is what God has in stock for us. So I want you to take the book very, very serious. And I want you to take it. You see, I want you to read it in a new way this time. It's true, you might have read it before. But I believe by the grace of God, this book of Ephesians is full of blessing. You see, many of us so-called believers, we are carrying Bible, but we don't know what is inside. We don't have time to read it and study it and pray on them. And that is what we want to do during this time of a prayer period, a morning prayer. We will read. It may just be one passage, just only one verse. We may attach it with other verses to explain it. It may be only one word or one phrase in that passage that will be taken. And we will pray them in into our life. Thank God you are a partaker with us in this introduction to the book of Ephesians. My prayer is that we will not be again. You see, you remember Lazarus. Jesus Christ gave us the parable, the story of Lazarus and the rich man. Lazarus supposed not to die poor and racial. No, that was not why God created him. But he, you know, he didn't know the purpose of God. And that is raised the same thing also. Many of us, Bible believers, or believers so-called, or I know whatever we label ourselves or we give the title we give ourselves, we are suffering. We are just like somebody. Are you listening to me? Yes. God bless you. We are just like somebody which shake, sign check in uncountable millions or billions or trillions of dollars or pounds sterling whatever may be the currency you are spending, but without claiming them, just carrying them. That's how people are carrying the Bible. That's how they are carrying the Bible too. They carry the Bible up and down, but they are not making use of the promises. They are not claiming the promises that are there. But from today, by the grace of God, things are going to change with you, with me. We will read it. We will apply them. We will claim the promises. And God's blessings will be our portion in Jesus' name. Let me just take verse 3 of Ephesians chapter 1. Let me just show you this one there. That Look at verse 3 there. Ephesians 1, 3 there. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has, what do you see there? Bless us. What do you see again? With all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. You see one thing about this book of Ephesians. Jesus is the center. Nearly every verse there, you see Jesus, you see God, you see Jesus, you see God. I pray God will open our eyes and God will bless us in Jesus' name. Can I hear your amen over there? This time now, we will spend it. We want to go into the law because I've told you, we will prayerfully go through this book verse by verse. At times, it may be we take some of the words there. And apply them into our life and God will give us understanding. And I tell you, as we spend time to pray for ourselves, for our family, and for our neighbor, I'm telling you, you are going to witness miracle. Can I hear amen at your end? Let us bow down our head now as we pray. We are going to thank God for number one, bringing us together again this morning. And tomorrow morning also, same time. Don't forget, let's thank God for another day like this. I just want you to thank God. Many people slept yesterday. They never woke up. But we are here. All over the world, we are in the morning now by the grace of God. You see, I want you to thank God for your life. Thank God for your family. Thank God for the peace of God in your community there, in your state, in your nation there. Even if you have crisis, still thank God that God spared your life, that you can be a partaker with us this morning. I want you to thank God for giving us his Bible, 
this 66 books 66 wonderful i told you you see this book contains everything we need here on earth everything we need they are there thank god for the bible thank god that you have a copy yes i want you to appreciate god say god i thank you for the privilege you have given to me to have access to your words so we have no no excuse for failing and thank god for all the promises that are there he has blessed us with all blessings every blessing that you need here on earth everything is attached everything is there thank god for that thank god for his promises that can never fail in jesus mighty name we have prayed can i hear amen the prayer we are going to pray now is that god will open our eyes to see what we ought to see to see the blessings god will give us understanding and claim his promises that can never fail his promises will claim it for ourselves we claim it for our family we claim it for everything that concerns us that god will open up this book of Ephesians. holy ghost teach us yourself speak to us yourself all the blessings that are attached to it we want to be a partaker i want you to pray 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 this prayer very well god please open my eyes give me understanding to claim your promises and the blessings for my life and family for my business for everything in jesus name we have prayed i've told you we're going to spend quality time to pray this time we are going to pray this time we want to pray for the sick if you look at that passage you will see it all blessings let i'll read it again that verse 3 blessed be the god and the father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in christ jesus all including healing and any other thing you talk about salvation you talk about healing you talk about deliverance you talk about sanctification you talk about holy ghost baptism you talk about spiritual gift you talk every blessing you can mention power you can mention they are all there so we want to pray for the sick this morning you remember i will always quote the bible for you my brethren so that that one will help us to pray he said he sent forth his word to heal them and to deliver them from their destruction maybe you also you are sick there i want you to pray that this word of god you are hearing this morning will bring healing to you and to all our friends to all our relation all our brethren that are sick let's pray for them that god will touch them god will heal them it's part of the blessings we're supposed to be enjoying as believers and you too you're supposed to be enjoying sound health yes pray that prayer very well this morning he sent his forth this word lord i've heard your word you say this is part of it this is part of your blessing the bible say jesus christ came by his stripes we were healed that is part of it god says i am the lord that healed thee that's part of it claim it if you are a child of god even if you are not a child of god tell god to forgive you your sin give your life to jesus right now and claim it so that you'll be a partaker of this blessing pray for yourself this morning are you sick whatever may be the nature whether it is terminal disease i'm telling you by stripes we were healed matthew told us that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by isaiah the prophet that himself took our infirmity and our sicknesses pray this morning that he will take away that is the blessing sickness infirmity from your life from your family maybe there is a particular disease or sickness that is you know is it, that have been claiming life in your home your family pray that god will remove it any type of sickness any type of affliction that god will remove it from your life this morning pray that prayer very well thank you father in jesus name we pray let's remember the needy don't let us forget them there are poor people especially in africa and asia people are suffering let's pray that god will remember them God will supply their needs, especially believers at this time. That God will remember them. God will meet their needs in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray for those who are looking for a job. That God will provide them a better job. Maybe you also, you are there. You are looking for a job. Why don't you pray this morning that God will connect you with better job. Pray that prayer very well. And also, we are still going to remember our country. Any country where you are over there. Let's pray for our nation let's pray for our leader that they will rule us in the fear of god and that god will visit those nations our nations 
and improve our economy so that life will not be too hard and arch for the people of God. Let's pray that God will visit the economy of our nation once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Lastly, before we go to round up this morning, I want you to pray for yourself. What do you want God to do for you today? So I'm going out, pray that God will lead you, God will guide you, God will keep you from all evil, God will keep you to overcome you know, trials and temptations of life. Whatever may be your challenge, tell the Lord this morning, commit yourself into the hand of God as we round up now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let me hear your amen over there. Amen. God grant your petition and your request in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. If you are sick there, just lay your hands wherever the sickness may be. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will heal you. The Lord will deliver you in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again, bringing us together this morning. Oh, Lord, not all that slept yesterday woke up, but we are privileged to even have time to connect ourselves all over the world. Take all the glory, Father. Take all the honor, Lord. We thank you for your word, 66 books that you have given to us to guide us, to lead us, to get all the blessing that we need. Everything is a great treasure. Father, we say thank you for the Bible, especially at this time we are going to the book of Ephesians. Lord, open our eyes. Give us understanding. Help us to apply those blessings and help us to enjoy them. And I pray we will not die poor, racial, in sickness, in affliction. Oh Lord, that we will, we will live according to your word. You say, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in it, even as thy soul prospereth. Father, we claim that verse. We will live in sound health. We will live in prosperity. And I pray for as many of your children who are sick this morning, as they lay their hands there, I pray you sickness in the name of Jesus come out in Jesus' name. Affliction by the devil, by wicked men and women, I command you that the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy every seed affliction in your body. Wherever that affliction is, wherever that arrow of sickness is, I set it on fire in Jesus' name. By your stripe, Lord Jesus, remember we were healed. I pray right now, let your healing virtue flow. You say you sent forth your word to heal them and to deliver them from their destruction. Every demonic sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. In evil inheritance, come out in Jesus' name. Spirit of vengeance, I command you, come out of their body in Jesus' name. Whatever may be the name of that sickness, whether in the head, whether in the neck, whether in the organ, whether in the limbs, whether anywhere that sickness is right now, speak the word of God to you. You sickness, I bind you in the name of Jesus. You demon and powers of darkness behind that sickness, I paralyze you by the blood of Jesus. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. That terminal disease, I command you in the name of Jesus because he finished it on the cross. Healing is part of our blessings. I claim that blessing on their behalf. And I command sickness now. Come out in Jesus' name. Attack, whether in the dream, physical attack, spiritual attack. I destroy you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you. Come out of their body in Jesus' name. Receive your healing right now. Whether you are at home, whether you are in the hospital, whether you are inside the car, in the train, anywhere. Oh Lord God of hosts, I send forth your word. Heal them. Deliver your people in Jesus' name. The blessing that you have provided for us, we will all be a partaker of them all in Jesus' name. We reject poverty. We reject sickness. We reject affliction. We reject joblessness. We reject anything negative on behalf of your people in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Those who are looking for job, Lord, connect them, provide job for them. Those who are one need or the other, Father, meet their needs, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit our home. Bless our home. Keep us healthy and strong. Let your name be glorified in our life. Make us channel of blessing. And as many who have not known you as they are calling upon you this morning for mercy, Lord, 
forgive them, cleanse them, wash them with your blood. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. It has been a wonderful time. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, same time again, we are going to go through this book. I'm telling you, you are not going to be the same. God bless you joining us this morning. Bye-bye. God bless you.